Uh, good morning, guys, and welcome back to another CAFCAST. Today, we are back here in the wonderful world of Jurassic World. And, believe it or not, today is a big day, because today we're going to try and sort out four Brachiosauruses. Whether or not this is going to happen, I have no idea. Doug looks like he might need a little bit of food. Uh, is there anything... Definitely had something around here somewhere. Let's have a look. Uh, anything there? No. Okay. Ah, here we go. Right, steak's perfect. That's, that's exactly what we needed, actually. Wonderful. Okay. Doug, eat that. There you go. 120. You're good. Perfect. Okay, so we've got one soft tissue so far, which is not too bad. I kind of moved some of these fossils around, uh, so we've got more in here, because I found that there was actually a few of them in here still, which is really, really useful. Um, so we ended up with a couple more than we thought, but I took some out of the, uh, the bottom here as well. So we've got one, three... Three. Oh god, that's really good. Okay, fantastic. Well, obviously we need to try to make 300%, so three lots of 100% here, and the chances of that happening are usually quite slim when it comes to these systems. There's an old Triceratops DNA that we can take out of there that we never used, and another one there as well, which is fine. It doesn't matter. They can go into the fabled little chest that we have here and just carry on working on getting different ones. There's one there. This is actually pretty good so far. Usually, it's impossible to get DNA working from fossils, but today we've managed to get nine already, which is absolutely fantastic. This, looks, this might actually take no time at all, which I'm really excited about. I love these mirror, these uh, glass windows now that we've actually got all the uh, connected textures on. They look so good, don't they? Especially you can see over there, the uh, the Triceratops exhibit, with all those beautiful jungle trees standing proud and tall. I think that exhibit is so wonderful. Thank you for all your comments as well, guys, letting me know what you think we should do. I do like the idea of the treetop kind of like observatories, so we're probably going to like mess with that. I guess what we'll probably do, tomorrow's episode will be the episode that we start taking votes for the uh, the naming of our dinosaurs. And then the episode after that, I might start just working on a treetop enclosure that we can try to like replicate and maybe try to get a staircase inside it or something. We'll we'll make it look really really cool. So don't worry about that. We'll we'll, we'll make something happen. But anyway, these are almost actually completely done here and I'm I'm really hoping that we get quite a lot here, Doug. I'm excited. I'm I, like this is Brachiosaurus is probably one of my favorite dinosaurs as well. So the fact that we're actually finally moving on to these guys and adding them, that, I think that's one of the main reasons why I was like, yes, it makes so much sense for us to spend a bit of time going around and putting them at the back of the visitor center. Because then once we put all the glass and stuff in the visitor center, we'll be able to just look out and see all these beautiful Brachiosauruses standing tall in their massive, massive glory. I think it's going to look incredible. And I hope you guys agree. Don't forget to watch right till the end of the video, as per usual, guys, because as we always do every single time, here we go, 24, 16, and 36, nice, okay, that's not too bad, we always add somebody to our wonderful Jurassic Road every single episode, so if you've left a comment letting us know uh, what you think of the show so far, or just, just, just saying something and left your Minecraft name at the end of the, uh, the message that you left us, then you are in with a shot of becoming part of our Jurassic Road. So as always, if you haven't already done that, it's very, very straightforward to do. All you need to do is head over to our comment section just down below of this video. You can leave whatever kind of comment you want, good or bad, it's entirely up to you. Uh, or just reply to somebody. Make sure that whenever you leave a comment on my videos, just sign off with your Minecraft name. Uh, and then I'll be able to look at that and go, okay, this person looks like they deserve to be part of our Jurassic Road. And your Minecraft character could be inside our world which is always a fantastic thing here we go look we're making making real progress here now we've got a 60 and a 40 which is actually exactly what we need to make our first 100 percent so we've done one like already this one 60 and 40 that's what we just did uh this one's 19 percent so we'll put the 19 and the 25 in here god damn this is amazing we we are cooking with gas look the the percentages for getting soft tissue out of Brachiosaurus skulls must be higher than uh, than it normally is for other ones because 
I'll tell you what, we are getting a lot more than we got with Indominus. Indominus was almost impossible, and we luckily just about managed to get two Indominus Rexes out of that. We have, like, nothing else. So I think that's actually worked out really nicely for us. The only thing that we need to do now is make sure that we can get ourselves the right amount of DNA. What was that? A 44 and a 35. Let's get those cooking. Uh, where did I put the... Oh, there it is. Okay. So there's our first 100%. We've got it. It's ready to go. These sequences are done. 26. These are all really good as well. Like, we're, we're being super, super jammy and lucky right now. I love the word jammy. It's a really good word. Uh, okay, so 26 and 24. Let's go for that. Uh, we left one down here. 79. 79 needs 29. So 21 and 10 would do it. That makes our second one there. Uh, and then we'll sort out our third one once these ones are done. I guess those can sort of like go together. Uh, and then once that one's done as well, that'll be absolutely fine. Uh, so we've got some more room now. So we may as well take... Oh, we've got actually loads on me. Oops, lazy. There we go. There, there, there. Oh, I just dropped that in. <laughs> really shouldn't be chucking uh, soft tissue down on the floor. That's not the best place for it, is it? <laughs> but those are all now on the cook, which is good. We've got a couple more of these. I feel like, you know what? We might be able to even have some more Brachiosauruses later on. I might even extend the exhibit and have six of them. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Should we have more? I kind of, I kind of feel like four is a good amount for now. But yeah, I mean, if you guys want to see it, I, I would be happy, absolutely happy to do, uh, to do more. And that'd be really, really fun actually, because um, it seems like we've got enough DNA for it. So why not, right? Why not? Let's carry on here. Fifty, nineteen, and sixteen. That's not quite enough. But we've got some, a six, six, and a three. All that should do it. Let's find out. Here we go. Put those in there. Put these ones in here. Take the, this one. This is our second 100%. That's now done. We've got a 15 and 19 here, which will go into our next thingy, uh, which will make 69. And then oh, three and six is nine. That's 78. Oh, we're gonna, it's going to be really close, but we have got some more on the way if we struggle with this here. Uh, so that's good. That's nine. And there's a 22 and a nine there, which will make 31. These two brachios... Oh, that's the ones I just put in the thingy. Uh, there isn't anything in the bottom one, though. Okay, well, that's fine. There's more cooking there. We may as well just do all of these because we've got so many of them. There we go. Look, lovely. Okay, yeah, we, we, we've, we've definitely done this, guys. This has been, like, one of the easier episodes because I haven't had to go away and do loads of mining <laughs> to try to find more. 69 and 31 is exactly there, actually. That's, that's, that's like, exactly perfect. Yeah, 70, 80 times 100. Okay, we've actually managed to... Oh, no, hang on a second. That's only three. Okay, well, it is good that we've got more coming then because I just, I just completely phased out there and thought, thought that we were doing three rather than four. So we're still going to have to do one more. But that should be okay. What else can we do? Three, two, one. 13. Okay, we need all of these ones to be to still be really good. So we're a bit worried now. There we go. Those ones are in there. And they're all cooking again. Perfect. Okay. So let's have a look here. Uh, that's the third 100. So we've got three there. And now we've got a five and a 13. Those are all cooking now. We've got the 20 and the 24, which will make 44. 44 plus 19. No, sorry, 18. 44 plus 8. That's 50. 62. Okay. We're almost there. We just need like a couple more. Let's see. These two are going to be cooked first here in the middle. Doug's like outside just chilling out in the sun. Are you enjoying yourself, Doug? The day is almost over. Are you... Are you going to be like, do you need some more food, friend? I might have to give uh, Doug some more grub. He's, uh, he looks like he might be struggling a little bit. Doug! Here we go. Good boy. Perfect. There we go. Okay. <laughs> it's so cool how, how like closely he does actually resemble Doug the Pug. It's brilliant. Uh, okay, right. So there we go. 44 uh, and 18. Let's go ahead and put 44 and 18 together to make that 62. Uh, the ones that have cooked now are here. I think that's enough. Or is it 60, 70, 80, 90? Oh, it's so close. Oh, here we go. Look, 4, 15. Yeah, we've definitely got enough. We've done it. Fantastic. Oh, my God. This is so good. Okay. Right. 4 and 13. That one is 62 and 8. And then we'll do a 18 and a 15 here. And then we'll have to just, like, cook these all up. We'll probably we'll go ahead and start doing the embryonic machine part now. Oh, we can't put those in there. Let's see the synthesizer. Yeah, synthesizer. Okay, there we go. Let's get the synthesizers working so they can put 
those all into actual eggs for us in a minute. There we go. Right, so this one, 33%, lovely. 70%, that makes the 100 that we needed anyway, so we don't even need to worry about using that last one that we've got there. We can go ahead and put this disc away into this little package that we've got here. Wonderful. Guys, that was so, like, it's never this easy. I feel like we've done such good work, like, immediately. These are all going now as well. They, they don't take too much time at all to go through the synthesizer. I wish to put them in the embryonic machine and the embryo calcification machine, and we're done. So that's, like, super simple, right? We'll still make sure we add somebody to our Jurassic Road as well before we finish up, and then we'll go and hatch them and start taking names, suggestions, on the next episode. So make sure you tune in the next time, guys, because we, hopefully, will be having all of you guys give me some fantastic names for Brachiosauruses. But remember, that's going to be on the next episode, not this one. So here we go. The DNA now goes inside the embryonic machine. Perfect. They all seem to be cooking up for us wonderfully. Lovely. Looks good. Uh, and then that's another thing there for us. And another one. And a final one. And then here we go. We'll just go and put the three of these in here. We're going to have to do that last one as well before we finish up. But that's fine. You guys don't mind having a slightly longer episode, do you? I know you don't. Because I know you guys love to have the longest episodes you possibly can have. But there we go. One Brachiosaurus egg. Two Brachiosaurus egg and three Brachiosaurus egg. The final one we need to do is just coming through here now. So let's quickly grab this. Ready? Done. DNA. DNA goes into the embryonic machine. You guys know how this works now, right? Sequencer, combinator, synthesizer, embryonic machine, embryo calcification machine. So not only watching these episodes do you get to name fantastic dinosaurs, guys, but you also get to learn how to play Jurassic Craft 2.0 which I think is pretty cool because they've started to release some really cool new stuff. don't know if you guys have been seeing it over there in the uh, the wonderful outlandish world, but there's so much cool stuff coming, guys. You have no idea. Anyway, that's all of those sorted. So let's quickly go ahead and pop them into our hatchery, our cultivator here. Uh, one, two, three, four. Two girls and two boys because, you know, that's the fairest way of doing it, isn't it? Four Brachiosauruses. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, Doug, are you ready? We have to go ahead over here for a wander, see if we can uh, avoid getting killed by any of the monsters. I think we should be okay. Let's go ahead and see if there are any more people that have left any more fantastic Minecraft names. Who else wants to become part of our, uh, our Jurassic Road here, guys? Who do you think? What do you think? Let's have a look. Anybody around here? Oh, God, look how many zombies are following me. Oh, my God. Okay, quick. Move. Go, 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 go. I'm trying to do, like, two things at once here. We're gonna have to. Oh god, we're gonna have to try and shoot all these guys. Okay. Get out of here. Get out, guys! Screamer. Oh. <laughs> he blew up though, but he blew up over there. Get out of here. Get out of here. There we go. This this gun is like the most useful thing in the world. <laughs> it makes it so easy for us. I love it. Okay. So it looks like we have got somebody here, who Tanner Keith who actually did vote for Brachiosaurus in the first place. He says, Brachiosaurus, Calf, by the way, can you put prehistoric plants in the exhibit, please? It would look like the actual prehistoric time. Maybe that's what we'll do in the Brachiosaurus exhibit next time, Tanner. Very, very good suggestion. And his name is apparently TK Raptor. So let's go ahead and see if we can add somebody called TK Raptor. Does this work? TK Raptor. Uh, and we'll give him no living animation. Have you got a person? Yes, you have. Perfect. Okay. That makes it nice and straightforward for us. Uh, sorry, no living animation. And I might start hiding these names at some point as well. Do you guys think it looks really, really messy to have all these names coming out? I don't know if I don't know if it does. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, if you have a look over here, like it's all like there's loads and loads of names all kind of like along the, the road. Does it look a bit rubbish? Or is it cool to have everybody's names sort of like showing up? All different people that watch this show. Look how many of you there are. That's incredible. We're not even done yet. We've still got like so many more to do. This little Christmas tree apparently I completely missed. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this episode, guys. I know it was a little bit on the long side, but I also know that you love the longer episodes, so that's absolutely fantastic. Uh, until next time, guys, don't forget to like the video if you're enjoying the series. Subscribe if you want to see more, and come back again tomorrow to leave your name suggestions for the four Brachiosauruses. See you then, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. You've been watching the Gaffcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget.
forget to check out all of our other videos. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way I'll know to make more and that you really like me. So, you've been watching the Kefcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos.